The blood pressure measurement is the most common medical action and uh, the blood pressure measured day by day, million times in the world. However, we do not have to forget that we are just measuring the brachial blood pressure with the standard blood pressure measuring process. Why the central blood pressure is getting to be more and more important in the medicine? Because we know well physiologically that if I draw the aortic pressure curve and if I draw the brachial pressure curve, this is systole, this is systole, this is diastole and diastole. So if I measure the aortic blood pressure, the central systolic blood pressure, this is always lower as compared to the peripheral, let's say, brachial blood pressure because of the physiological pulse pressure amplification. The pulse pressure amplification means that the pulse pressure, which is the difference between the systolic and diastolic pressure, will be increasing towards the periphery. The younger we are, the better and the more marked the pulse pressure amplification. Why the, pulse in the, uh, why the central blood pressure is so important to be measured? Because, unfortunately, if you do measure the peripheral blood pressure, which is taken day by day, we have no chance to judge the aortic central blood pressure. Very simple way. Look at what will happen if there is an increased peripheral vascular resistance and then the reflected systolic wave amplitude will increase due to the increased energy of the reflected wave, systolic wave. In this case, the highest pressure in the aorta will be the second reflected wave and the central systolic blood pressure will increase. However, this kind of proportional increase cannot be detected at the brachial artery because in this case the very sparked first systolic wave still will dominate and will uh, create the highest pressure in the brachial artery so we will measure this point as a systolic blood pressure. Consequently, measuring the peripheral blood pressure we do not have chance to judge and to estimate the aortic systolic blood pressure. The clinical consequence and the clinical importance of measuring the aortic central blood pressure is getting to have more and more scientific evidence. In the strong heart study issued by Mir Roman, we learned that the aortic central blood pressure and pulse pressure, it is much more uh, closer to the adverse cardiac outcome or cardiovascular morbidity and mortality as compared to the brachial one. Furthermore, it had been revealed that the different kind of antihypertensive drugs are acting different way on the central blood pressure. However, they do decrease the peripheral blood pressure probably equal way. From the CAFE study, which is a sub-study of the ASCO trial, had been pointed out that the beta blockers were able to reduce the peripheral blood pressure and the calcium channel blocker amlodipine simultaneously and similarly. However, between the calcium channel blocker amlodipine and the beta blocker atenolor, strong difference was seen in the central blood pressure. Why the beta blocker did not decrease the central blood pressure, the calcium channel blocker significantly decreased. For this reason, today in the clinical medicine and the daily medicine, it would be ideal to measure the aortic systolic blood pressure in order to improve the cardiovascular risk assessment. Second, to monitor the central hemodynamic effect of the applied antihypertensive therapy.